and salutations! Welcome back to uh, to another show that I love in this game, Farscape, with episode Die Dichotomy. So what happened in this episode? Well, Crichton's, you know, his sanity is slowly going from not great to oh no. And it, it, it in a way, um, puts the crew, crew in danger, at least the greatest tragedy of all. I gotta say, this episode kind of reminds me of, like, say, I one time said that I think the Look at the Princess storyline Remind me of, like, say, um, Return of the, uh, you know, like a Star Wars storyline. This one felt like a Star Wars storyline in that, um, slowly as the story went on, John became everything that he was, you know, wasn't. In, in a way, like, say, suddenly become, turning himself into, uh, to, um, Scorpius, like, he's slowly morphing into him, his face and all that starts morphing. I gotta say, they did a great job with, uh, for Ben's, you know, his makeup and all that. Ah, Crichton, a word if I may. Not now, Rigel. Now it works for me, so if you haven't chosen a bauble... Rigel, shut up! <laughs> And, like, the, you know, the traumatic aspect of it, of, like, you know, he's not able to control himself. Like, a split personality is there. And, I gotta, I'll, I gotta say also, hey! I see, I see you trying to scratch up that couch. Don't make me come over there, cat! You heard, you heard your father. You heard me. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, where was I at? Oh, yes, um, in the, ep in the episode, um, like, say there's a doctor, like, two doctors who basically, like, one that has, like, this weird face thing, and he goes, like, say, We shall now take off the cube, the thing out of your head. <laughs> and... It slowly is eventually revealed that she is actually the doctor who did was the the doctor work for Scorpius, and oh my gosh, that is such a cliffhanger because um John had had the mem all his memories removed. So as his memories removed, his dialogue was like garbledy gook. But like one of the most tra I feel like same when he said, like, yeah, the tragedy, tragedy of this episode is John, um, had accidentally caused the death of Aaron, and that she was trying to help John, but he was taken over by the Harvey side when he was turned into his Scorpius, so he is, in a way, she ends up Fall, uh, Aaron ends up falling into a freezing, frozen lake. I don't have any options. Maybe you're not gonna die like this. You're not gonna die like this. I hope you meant what you said in the neural cluster. I did. And. Yeah, her death sequence is really... <sighs> but I gotta say, as, like, a fan of this show, I really like it. I, by the same time, I'm gonna say this. We, we all know. As a viewer, like, say... Yeah, I, I know. When this show probably came out, it was probably shocking. But at the same time, we probably realized... There's, this isn't the end of the series. There's probably many more episodes saying, Hey... Aaron is alive because, you know, well, well, we can't just let one of our, you know, top characters just, you know, 
get axed off. But I really like this episode. It does a lot of creative things. The acting from the cast and crew was really good. And the dynamic between um, Dargo, Chana, and his son Jothi was all dramatically done in that Chiana just wants to be like, um, almost like a mother figure to Jothi. And Dargo is still a bit nervous about like, hey, I could almost be like, you know, lose my son again. And he's... Now I'm coming to grips like, hey, his son's there, finally. But I forgot, overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. I'm going to finish some of my dinner. Homemade quesadilla. See you next time.